hi guys welcome to jd's kitchen today we are going to be making bobolo from scratch so we start by peeling our cassava washing it thoroughly and then cutting it into small pieces and soaking it in a bowl of water preferably you can use a plastic bowl so that it can trap the heat make sure you cover it well you leave it in water for three days in a hot environment you expect your cassava to look like this to be soft you can actually mash it with your hands take it out of the water and set it aside and then i go ahead to wash my leaf that i'm going to tie my bobolo with after um, taking out my cassava from the water i'll go ahead to mash the cassava okay it's very soft you can mash it with your fingers i would mash it and while i'm doing that i ensure that i take out every stick like substance every rope like substance anything that is hard okay i take it out of the cassava you don't want to leave this in your cassava because your bubble is not going to be smooth now i'm going to repeat this step but now in a systematic manner i'm going to go from one end of my bowl to the other just to ensure that i have no um no stems no sticks no ropes inside this cassava this is very important okay um sometimes you buy cassava and it's just not nice to eat it because there are lots of ropes sometimes you even feel like sand particles and that's why you need to learn how to make your bubble by yourself okay so yes i'll do this till i get to the other end of the bowl and now i'm sure that there are no particles no stems no ropes no sticks <laughs> inside my bobolo paste or my cassava however you prefer to call it so now it's good we're going to go ahead to blend it this is another very important step okay we're going to go ahead to blend it after blending it um you take it out i'm going to blend the entire um cassava after blending it i'm going to just pour it in a clean cloth and then squeeze out all the water If you have kids that love eating bobolo or if you yourself you love eating bobolo and you like it clean then you should really learn how to make your bobolo yourself this is what actually made me to say no i'm going to start making my bobolo because i'm tired um we're coming from dollar the other day bought a lot of miondo and it was horrible there was sand i'm sure the water they used to make it was dirty so we could not even enjoy it we just had to throw away the whole thing so i not make it myself and yeah so let's keep going after um i blended it you guys could have seen me pour it into this cloth make sure you're using a clean cloth and then i'm just going to go ahead now to take it out of the cloth and i'll start tying it listen you guys i shared a video with you guys on how to tie kwakuko i can tie kwakuko while sleeping but you see this bobolo <laughs> it was quite the struggle when you see those basa women doing it it's just like oh it's easy but it was a struggle but i managed to get my bobolo wrapped properly okay um yeah so making bobolo you should know that if it's your first time um making your bobolo it might be difficult for me even the first the second the third it's going to be difficult if it's not something that you really grew up seeing people making it but you can try doing it okay so you guys just watch the process to see how i tie it and stay glued to see how this bobolo is going to look at the end it's going to be so smooth you know how when you open up your bobolo you can see some lines inside like rope like stuff mm -mm -mm. nah not with this bobolo just stay tuned to see um the end results now this is my rope i'm going to use to tie my bobolo and yeah so you're going to just have to follow what i'm doing just look at it keenly okay <laughs> sometimes when you're doing certain processes it's difficult to explain but if you look at what i'm doing then you should be able to tie your bubble or you want to wrap the ends and then tie it um yeah make sure it's secure so that um when you lift up the the bubble or to tie the rope around it <laughs> it's not going to come out of the other side okay so this explanation is more than me just watch the process and if you try it um leave in the comment section and tell me how your bobolo turned out if your family loves bobolo if you love bobolo you should definitely try to make it yourself from time to time if you can if you don't have the time to make it then you might want to find somebody that sells clean bobolo because these things we are eating out here oh my god you guys see so 
I think I had to tie it a little harder to be able to get the lines on the bobolo. You guys know when you buy bobolo, you see those lines on the bobolo. That's what they do to achieve those lines. They tie it very hard, but I didn't tie mine very hard. So I'm repeating the process again. You guys just watch, 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 watch and learn. So I just realized that when I was blending my cassava, that's after I took out all the sticks and whatever from the cassava, I did not specify to you guys. I blended my cassava without water. That's because my blender can take it. But if your blender can't blend the cassava without water, remember we have steeped the cassava for days, so it's really soft. So if you have a blender that's working well, it should be able to blend the cassava without adding water. But if with your blender, you realize that you must add water, then just know that the time you would use to squeeze out the water from your, your cassava paste is going to be longer than the time that I took. So I just thought to point that out. I boiled this for 30 minutes and this is how it looked after stay tuned to see how I open up one and yeah <laughs> 